There is no doubt that Notion is amazing and that's why I use it on a daily basis. However, by forcing Notion to do things that it's really not good at, you're actually spoiling your experience and maybe compromising on your data security as well. So let's check out what these are. Though Notion refers to its apps as an all-in-one workspace, it does not provide end-to-end -end security and the functionality that goes with it. For example, storing usernames, passwords, social security numbers, credit card information, security or PIN codes is really asking for trouble. Even beyond the risk of getting hacked, we also share spaces inside of Notion with friends, with family, at the workplace, with clients and with vendors that could potentially get compromised at some point or the other. This kind of information needs to be encrypted using algorithms like Triple DES, AES, RSA Security, Blowfish or Twofish. These are not standards that Notion uses for its databases and in fact holds true for 99% of note-taking apps. So, in these cases, you should be using a proper password manager to take care of your password store and retrieve requirements. Notion is a fantastic place to storyboard. So you can outline your story, arrive at the topics and the bullet points you're about to talk about. And this information can easily be transferred to the notes section of the presentation software later. But when it comes to graphics, Notion, plain and simple, sucks. The solution is to just do the graphics inside of a presentation software, like PowerPoint or Keynote, but use Notion to write up the storyboard. One of the things my clients often ask me for is the archival of data. Archival could mean a number of things. Archival could just be to tuck away data that you no longer want to see periodically, which could be done in the same database with just a simple flag. And Notion does that really well. But often, we refer to archival as a backup. You can archive this backup to a completely different workspace within Notion. And that could be an option to consider. Creating a PDF out of Notion pages is completely suboptimal and is at best the last option that you can consider. If you have to file attachments in your database tables, you should consider keeping the file in a folder and providing a link from Notion so that the main files are always available in that folder and you can easily copy that folder into another backup drive. For easy retrieval in the case of a crash, there is simply no save all attachments to a separate folder option available in Notion. Many a time, we cannot work in silos. For example, I need to share my accounts with my accountant, a draft of my book with my publisher, or field notes with my employer. More often than not, the other stakeholder does not use Notion. So files need to be converted into an appropriate format. And Notion sucks at such conversion. And you will spend far too much time trying to reverse engineer. So the better option that I use is create the file in the native format and store it as an attachment inside of Notion, inside the database table. So it gives me instant access of the data in the original format and allows me to edit it when required and use Notion's table functionality to maximize search ability. While doing this, do note that heavier documents like PPTs and videos can significantly bring the Notion table to a crawl and a file path may be a much better prudent option here. An alternate way of archiving information is to keep a copy to store things offline. Notion's only option at this point is to open the pages you want while you're still online and keep them open. Notion will cache the pages for offline editing. This syncs back when you go back online. This method means a very limited way of dealing with Notion. So Notion is not actually an offline mode software and shouldn't be treated as such. The next time you have a rush of adrenaline to create a new Notion template, be sure to check off these items and then go ahead. If you're not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing 
and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you like this video, consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace.